What's going on, folks? Welcome back to the Real Legend of Gaming. We got some highlights here from last night's Dark Zone run with Jar Infinite, uh, collaboration with Unknown Games and the Real Rombo. Uh, we had a good run. We were able to do a couple of extractions. I'm still trying to get that fourth piece for my Firecrest. Believe me, folks, I want that really bad. I, I want to be able to do that flame from a distance and with the additional damage on top of it. It's kind of like the cherry on top. So we like to keep it real simple in the dark zone. Uh, we already have um, our guidelines that we follow. Uh, there aren't really any rules, but as a team, we know we always follow the same system. And uh, simply, we know we focus all our uh, attack damage on one enemy at a time, and we're able to run through the dark zone with no problem. Uh, we had great mentors in the past. We've done um, excellent dark zone raids with um, Red Merker and uh, a couple other um, gamers that we met, you know, throughout the you know, great life and times of our PS4 experience. But um, one of the other things that we like to do is also focus on the landmarks. Um, you see the Real Rom was already using the Flamethrower. Um, definitely um, received a great buff with the recent 1.4 update. Uh, another great part about the 1.4 update is that, you know, even though we like to go to landmarks and go for the name guys, but the regular enemies do drop high ends and gear sets. Uh, you'll be able to see that shortly. And... Um, that's basically what we're going to do in the highlights. Uh, we, we go from landmark to landmark. We run around the dark zone. We try to get as much gear as we can, trying to extract as much as we can, stay safe in the ropes. And uh, you see here, there's only one name enemy there who's still alive, and we got high ends and gear sets all over the place. And Rombo's um, flamethrower putting in work right there. Uh, so after we cleaned up that area, we noticed there was a supply drop right up the block, so we're going to go after that as well. Um, those are great for the simple fact that those items that you retrieve from the supply drop go right to your inventory. So you don't have to worry about extracting it. Um, added benefit, especially with all the rogues running loose. And um, Rombo um, got that supply drop for us. I tell you, that guy's really good at doing that. Very valuable member of Jar Infinite, man. Love you, dude. All right, enough with that. So we're back to the gameplay. Um, me and the one unknown, we're taking out these cleaners. And uh, we played for a long time together, so we already know how to operate. So no one would always stay to the left, I'll stay to the right. And if we're going to switch off, we, we call it out. And uh, we're able to like really maximize um, our attacks, our strategies. And you see another gear set. That's my brother right there. I got to pick him up right away. I got you, unknown. All right, so um, at this point here, uh, we've got a couple gear sets in high end. So... Our next focal point is to go extract. And uh, we were able to do that with no problem. As you see, we're able to extract right there. You'll see the list of items right now. We got a gear set cache, a recramer glove, a bunch of other caches, and some um, high end items. Not bad. So we'll go over to the vendor. Uh, there was an update while we were playing. Uh, they got a couple weapon mods um, that were boosting the extended magazine. Uh, some critical damage, um, and somewhere reload speed and stability. Uh, when considering the mods, um, especially with the type of gun you're using, right now I'm using the AK-47, classic AK-47, and it has a lot of recoil, so the big focus of mine was stability. So I didn't want to buy a mod that would take away from that. Um, at this point, the gun jumps, but it's enough for me to handle with the control stick. Not a problem. So uh, I didn't purchase anything from those mods at the moment. But it's always good to check them out in Dark Zone. I mean, you have that currency that you gain. Um, if you're rocking the full set of the Banshee like Unknown does, um, you know, you won't lose any of your Dark Zone experience or currency when getting killed. Uh, so that's a really, really good perk to have. I'm actually considering making that change myself, but I do like the Firecrest ability. Uh, so I picked up a Hunter's Faith knee pad from... Um, supply drop uh, it's not something I'm gonna use I personally um, don't do a lot of sniping but um, if you were a marksman you know the hunter's faith is pretty good to use and it's on one of the you know first gear sets and I'm just checking out my enhanced PP19 uh, just to make sure that none of these mods will help me out um, I have a huge extended magazine on here so um, the mod in the shop was about 107 percent boost and I'm um, using right now, you know, higher than that. And uh, another thing that we noticed was the sights that they have. 
Uh, sometimes they customize the lights, but I mean, at this point in Dark Souls, customization doesn't mean as much as much as um, being able to uh, deal out more damage. Which, um, if you put the right mods, you can increase your your damage outtake, which will also increase your DPS, which is very important. So now we're gonna make our way to the pit. Uh, so we're going up. We went through Dark Zone Four. Now we're making our way to Five. Um, we're following the one unknown. Um, he's he's our map through the Dark Zone, and uh, he he gets us wherever we need to go. And um, it's always great to have um, different players on your team. So that's a key point to the Dark Zone as well. It's having folks that are specialized in different areas. And so unknown's the map. The real Rumble's your scavenger who'll find you your caches and. Um, we're able to look out for any rogues or anything. And then, um, I, I, I mean, my title, really, I, I just kind of like support everybody else. I like to lay in the cut, low-key, Don, and um, just scoop everything up. So now we're, we're pretty much filled up again. Uh, we're considering going to do another extraction, but uh, we're just clearing out everything in our path. Because once you do go up to Dark Zone 5 and 6, there's a lot more AI, and they've spawned from all corners. So you can get caught in a crossfire in three different directions, as you see here. And um, that, that's what can take you down quick, and uh, you don't want to die in the Dark Zone. So we're able to extract nearby. Um, in this clown, I got a bunch of high ends. And um, at this point here, we were actually trying to exit, but we couldn't because of these um, AI. So um, I know it was like, crank up the skills. Let's go out like G's and um, do it strong. And that's exactly what we did. Survivor link, tactical boost. And that's it, folks. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe.